Today we're going to talk about the ugly eggplant. Awesome flavor, ugly looking. We're going to make it into something real beautiful today. Okay, eggplants, tricky thing. The larger they are, the more bitter they taste. And I'm talking bitter. So a little trick. What we're doing is we sliced them earlier. I've salted the eggplants off. You let them sit for maybe half an hour, rinse it down, and this is what you get. Nice little limp eggplant. Okay, next step on this is we gotta put some flavor to it because eggplant doesn't really have a lot of strong flavor, it's very mild. Today we're doing eggplant parmesan. Uh, and it's really a breading system. Straight up flour, egg wash, and breadcrumbs. Now breadcrumbs on their own, really boring, so let's kick it up a notch. Into it, well of course it's parmigiana, that's going in. Eggplant parmesan needs the parmesan cheese. I've got some thyme here, and I'm gonna put about a tablespoon into here, into this mixture. I've got some basil, and I've got some oregano. And yes, it is oregano, not oregano. I keep trying to get corrected by my staff, but do the spelling, check it out. Oregano it is. I win on that one, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so all we're doing is mixing all our crumbs right, just like this. And if you happen to have an awesome little Mia like I do, bring her in because this breading system is really, really messy. Mia, do me a big favor. Yeah. Do the first stage to it so we don't get all glooped up. All we're doing here in the breading system, it is dredging into the flour, just a little bit of flour. Then we're putting it into the egg mixture, giving it a toss. Can you maybe do that one first, please? I can sure. get it onto the tray. Good coating. And this is strictly a standard breading mixture. This is going now on top with the crumbs. I'm pressing them right on. Flip it over and do it again on this side. I've sprayed down a cookie sheet with a cooking spray so it's not going to heat. And by the way, I just want to let you know that eggplant parmesan, generally if you're Italian, you're gonna say, what the heck are you doing? You're not being honest here, you fry it. But I'm about hell, so I don't wanna fry it. I'm going to bake it in the oven. That's my trick here. This goes into the oven, 375 degrees, and you're gonna put it for about 20 minutes. We're gonna pop it out. Do me a favor and just grab me the one we did before. Sure. Thank you. There you go. Okay, so I did this one earlier. Take a look. No difference except way less calories because I didn't fry it, right? This is step two. I'm putting on some nice marinara sauce. Now we make our sauce here homemade, but if you don't have time, no big deal. Go to the store, get yourself a tomato sauce that hands down, make sure, read your labels, gluten-free 100%. There is sometimes gluten in the sauces, believe it or not. Okay, so take a look at this. I've just spread the marinara on top. Now on top of that, I am popping some nice mozzarella. Nice big clump like this. This is gonna go back into our oven. It's going into, again, 375 degrees. This time we're popping it in for, hmm, give it about six minutes, I'm saying. Uh, you want it to be a little bit golden. Again, I did one a little bit earlier. And ouch, I'm gonna, ow, ow, ow. Let's bring that here for you. There, take a look at that. That is absolutely delicious. It's probably half the calories of doing the fried version. So way better for you and delicious. Uh, Try it, easy to make. Uh, I hope you do try to make it.